Now, I often use America's trips to the moon as one of the pinnacle examples of patriarchy, and um, feminists argue that I'm wrong about this. Um, uh, now, feminists argue that the reason women are underrepresented in space ex exploration is because there's a big bad patriarchy constantly telling them they can't be astronauts and they should be housewives instead. Well, pop culture's never given us any female astronauts as role models. That's why we had to watch Sandra Bullock in space screaming like a total cunt for two hours. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps the patriarchy will one day get us to Mars too. When it does, it will be because the patriarchy, the system I described, that of aspiration, values, of self-reliance, instead of victimhood and, I and identity politics and grievance mongering, um, will be the thing that got us there, not whining like a cunt. Um, <laughs> I mean, imagine if the survivor in The Martian was a male feminist. He'd probably write a Tumblr post about how he's making Mars a better place by ridding it of its last straight white male. Uh, he'd, wish, he'd wish both his wife and her new boyfriend a good future on Earth and promptly kill himself. Now, in a recent... <laughs> In a recent interview, I brought up the moon landing, and shortly afterwards, I received an email that told me that it wasn't the patriarchy, it was also Margaret Hamilton. Margaret Hamilton, a great female, um, a brilliant woman, one of the great early computer programmers, probably far more interesting, far more influential, far more talented than Ada Lovelace, who we hear about endlessly, but actually did fuck all. Um, this woman is genuinely brilliant. Um, she played a key role in the Apollo program, including the programming that helped the astronauts reach the moon safely. Um, but she was part of the patriarchy. This is the concept that makes leftists faint dead away, but lots of women are part of the patriarchy. The majority of women believe in equality between the sexes, but don't identify as feminists, as we discovered a moment ago. Margaret Hamilton was part of the patriarchy. Why? Because she was the best in her field. Because she contributed to the highest caliber of work available. Her gender and identity were never part of the equation, only her skill. Do you think Margaret Hamilton ever put tape over her nipples and participated in a slut walk? Do you think, do you think she ever made art with period blood? Of course not. She's the type that would punch you in the mouth if you called her a female programmer instead of just a programmer. This is what a great feminist icon looks like. The reliance, reliance and the, the focus on merit over identity is the patriarchy. It's your single sentence definition, but just like I said at the beginning, I wouldn't I mean, if I just said that at the beginning, rather, I wouldn't have got to listen to myself talk for 40 minutes. So um, the key thing I wanted to take away is that the, 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 the patriarchy is achievement, merit, and ambition divorced from identity. Girls, if you want to be like Margaret Hamilton, pick up a subject and never look back. But pick up a real subject. Don't pick up a subject that tells you lies. Pick up a subject that will teach you to do something, to be something, to build or create or contribute to something. Not a subject that only gives you the tools to whine about how shit your life is. Choose engineering. Choose physics. Choose maths. Choose a subject that actually means something. And then you will not just be complaining about supposed inequalities, but you will be doing something to fix them, and in this process, improving your own life. That is my message to young girls. That is my message to young women. My message to young women who would like one day to become like Margaret.